neutral stance, rip it around, let's go. So good, good. Land that wide split, great power. Wow, that's ferocious. What is going on, world-class athlete? In today's video, you're gonna learn the secrets behind how to generate that effortless power on uh, your forehand, just like that. And if you're someone who feels really tight or tense with your arm, or when you try and hit the ball really hard, your consistency drops, then you are gonna love this video because you're gonna master the three sections of this video. In section number one, you're gonna build a rock solid intuition and mastery over what you should focus on and what is the real source of effortless power on the forehand. In section number two, you're gonna learn the biomechanically proven principles of exactly how you should swing using the hitting arm structure to get that effortless power while still maintaining full consistency. And lastly, we're gonna close with a footwork pattern created and discovered by the world's leading footwork expert, David Bailey, that you can use the next time you step on the court to start uh, generating effortless power in Topson using the bigger muscles of your body the next time you step on the court. So if you're excited to take that forehand to the next level to expand your confidence and energy on the court, let's jump right in to mastering the intuitive principles behind effortless power. One of the most valuable lessons I learned from my experience at the Rick Macy Tennis Academy from legendary master Rick Macy himself, who taught five world known players, is that tennis is not an arm sport. And that's the mistake that I used to make and the mistake that so many players right now are making is that when they try to generate power or correct a problem or play their best tennis, they immediately think about what their hand is doing. But to really play at the highest level of the game and get that effortless power, you wanna transform the paradigm that you use when assessing your performance. And the paradigm you wanna use is on every shot, think in terms of what are your legs doing, what's your body doing to generate that power. And that's where that effortless power source comes from. It doesn't come from figuring out exactly how to create the optimal wrist lag and the optimal contact point. Though those things are definitely important, the real effortless power, the real pop, the real high performance comes from mastering how you use your body. So with that intuition built, let's jump right into the optimal hitting arm structure biomechanics. All right, world-class athlete. So now you know really where that source of effortless power is coming from, and it's coming from the bigger muscles of the legs and of the body. So with that intuition built, how exactly should you position your hitting arm to really allow your body to do that optimal work and get that effortless power going in? What the biomechanics research has found is that when you take your racket back, you wanna have the racket set on, and this is what we'll see every top player in the game doing, is when they take their racket back, you wanna have the racket on the hitting side of the body. This is the right side of the body for righties. The reason why this is so critical is, and what you wanna look for on every single one of your shots, is the racket should actually only start to go back once the legs and the body start to go forward. Now, a really common mistake here that so many players make is they'll take the racket back just with their hand and then swing with their hand. But literally looking at every single top player in the game and what the research has taught us is that when you take the racket back, you wanna have the racket pointed towards the outside of the body just like that. Then what happens is as the bigger muscles of the legs and the core drive with the relaxed wrist, this causes the racket to lag behind. This lagging creates the flip, otherwise known as the dynamic slot. And basically some amazing things are happening when this happens. Number one, it creates a nice amount of wrist extension, which is what allows you to generate more topspin, giving you that margin and consistency as you generate that massive power. The second huge benefit is as the racket flips, it creates what's known as a stretch and shorten cycle in the bigger muscles of the arm, like the anterior deltoid and the pec. And basically what this stretch and shorten cycle does right there is it increases the amount of force that you can actually generate from the hitting arm going forward into the shot, thereby taking a short swing, but being able to generate massive power. All right, athletes, you now understand where the power should be coming from, and now you have mastered and understand exactly the key checkpoint that you wanna create with the hand to get all that power from the bigger muscles transferred 
in to the actual racket. Lastly, let's close with one of the top footwork patterns that the pros use and a footwork pattern that if you implement will allow you not only to get more power from the lower body but also more effortless power because it's going to create more forward momentum. Let's jump right into that last section. All right, world class athlete, in this last section, I'm going to have one of my favorite students, Chloe, helping me out. Uh, feeding and you're gonna learn the very next time you step on the court the exact drill that you can use to start tapping into that effortless power so basically the move that you're gonna learn looks something like this Chloe go ahead and feed me one you're gonna step in pivot and rotate like that this move is called the step down pivot and it's amazingly beneficial for a few key reasons number one uh, the first key reason is that this move is executed in a, what's this stance called, Chloe? Closed stance, exactly. So by being in a closed stance, this is going to automatically facilitate you to get more natural forward rate transfer. The second benefit is that by getting more of that forward weight transfer, it's going to allow you to use the bigger muscles of your body and all of your mass to generate power going into the shot. So the exact step-by-step -step process with which you're gonna execute this move, and we're gonna see Chloe execute this in a short while, is it was just gonna look something like this. Phase number one of the shot, on all shots, you wanna land a wide aggressive split step just like that. Then you wanna take out steps to the ball with a unit turn, getting set into that neutral or that closed stance. From there, what you wanna do is execute your backswing, shift your weight onto your front leg, drive up off of that front leg, super key for consistency and power, making sure that you always have the leg drive as you're accelerating. Lastly, driving the leg, rotating, you're gonna get that flip, pivot around and swing, all together just like this. Wide split, step into neutral, uh, create that spin. One more wide split, step into neutral, uh, spin, just like that. The more confident and comfortable you get with this, the higher power, the higher margin you can go. All right, Chloe, time to show them how it's done. Let's go. All right, Chloe, so you're gonna land that wide split, neutral stance, rip it around, let's go. So good, good. Land that wide split, great power. Wow, that's ferocious, Chloe. Let's go, that's it, look at that power. Let's go, two more. You got it, wide split, get up there, come on. So good. Oh yeah, come on, let's go. All right, so athletes, I hope you absolutely love, love, love today's video. And for myself starting out, I was never able to hit with that kind of power or consistency, including Chloe. When she first started, man, she could just like barely hit the ball as, as so many of us were when we first started. But over enough time and by implementing the optimal technique, you can rise to an extremely high level. So stay consistent, stay enthusiastic because you're going to reach that highest level of performance if you keep staying persistent and you keep learning and applying those optimal techniques. As always, I hope you love, love, love this video. I had such a great time shooting it for you. And as always, I'll see you on next week's video. Let's go!